Hey everyone, welcome back to the Golf House. If you've been here before, if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Jenny and it's dinner time. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna make a quick dinner using predominantly Thrive Life foods. We absolutely love the Thrive Life freeze-dried foods. I use it a lot for convenience, no chopping, super easy. This is gonna be quick to get into the oven. I am gonna be making a beef cobbler and I'm gonna do a parsley cobbler topping on it. It's gonna be so good. Let me show you how I'm making it. I am going to use beef slices. Um, I love this beef. It is so good. I even eat, I will even eat it dry. So I'm gonna use these. Oh shoot, I've gotta go find some mushrooms. I'm gonna use the beef sauce from Thrive. The onion, this is potatoes. I guess I can put potatoes in there too, that would be good. Celery. Carrots. Peas, and I gotta go grab the onions. Onions, and my husband's bringing me in mushrooms. Okay, I guess I'll leave that off. I'm gonna turn my pan on. I'm just gonna heat it up in my iron skillet. I have two cups of water starting out. I'm probably gonna add two more cups of water. Okay. I'm throwing a cup of the beef in. This is it, baby. Okay, I gotta order more. No, I mean, yeah. that's the one. Yeah. We got one more out there. Okay, I need to order more because I use a lot of mushrooms. So I've got the beef in. The beef is the majority. I'm just gonna pop in a couple little things. And I, the plan is just to rehydrate this as it goes. Carrots, I'm probably gonna use one eighth of a cup of carrots. I have an eighth of a cup of onions. Celery, quarter cup. You can use a lot more if you like. You can put as much of all this stuff in as you want. Potato dices. I'm gonna go with a half a cup of potato dices. Mushrooms, I am putting in a half of a cup because we love mushrooms. My oven is now preheated to 350 degrees. I have peas. I'm going to put in a quarter cup of peas. Not my husband's favorite. They're my favorite. <laughs> now that this is nice and hot, the beef sauce, I'm going to put in a quarter cup. And it probably end up putting a little bit more than a quarter cup in. Tonight is Thursday. I always make the videos a day ahead. And we have our live tonight for our members only chat. So I wanted something quick and easy. I am going to turn this off and just let these soak for a few, but I want to taste the broth. I'm going to sprinkle in a little bit more. I am also going to put in a half a teaspoon of salt. Black pepper, about a half a teaspoon. I'm going to throw in a teaspoon of dried parsley. And a teaspoon of onion powder. Okay, I'm just going to let that sit there while I make the batter. Into my bowl, I'm gonna put a cup and a half of flour, all-purpose flour. I'm gonna put a you know, three quarters of a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, and two teaspoons of baking powder. One teaspoon of parsley. We're going to make a parsley cobble topping. 
I have half a stick of butter here. You can use butter, you can use um, shortening, you can use lard, whatever you want to use for your fat. And now milk. At this point, you can put in a beaten egg if you like a heavier, more dense dumpling, add an egg. If you like really light and fluffy, don't add the egg. And I'm terrible about measuring the milk because I pour it in until it's droppable consistency. So this was like three quarters of a cup of milk. I want it to be like batter, not biscuit. And you don't want to over stir it either. Okay, we'll call that good. Okay, and look at this. It has set up so you see the gravy in there. Everything's getting nice and moist. You gotta give it time to rehydrate. All right, so this is my take on kind of a, an easier beef pot pie. So you kind of want to make it cobblestone-y, you know, like a beef cobbler. These don't have to be perfect. They don't have to be even. Just pop it in. All right, into a 350 degree oven until it's done. I'll let you know how long it took as soon as it comes out. 30 minutes and it's done. Actually, I think it was more like 25. We are ready to eat. Did you call my name? Hey, there's your taste tester for you. A lot of well. That was a sneak bite. My bad. Oh, he keeps doing that. <laughs> Not understanding how this could actually be thrive. It is so delicious. And then with the homemade biscuit the wife threw on top, absolutely amazing. But the beef from Thrive, you, you can't even tell. You can't even tell it's freeze dried. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. The beef is so good. I could literally just, now that I know we got a container full of beef out there. Along with the mushrooms. What else you got in there? Is that onion? Mm-hmm. Blind. Yeah, mushrooms, right. onions. I'm so impressed with their with their with their meat in general. I mean, my goodness, it's all delicious. I remember the first time you made that and I didn't know it was Thrive mm -hmm. and I'm eating it out of the pan going, mm -hmm. man, this is delicious. <laughs> and you're like, by the way, that's, that's Thrive. I'm like, there's no way that's Thrive. That's, that's mm -hmm. fresh. Mm -hmm. But, mm, hot, but darn tasty. That's all there is to it. It's so easy to use the ingredients. I cook a lot. I use a lot of fresh ingredients. I use a lot of ingredients that I uh, dehydrate myself and I use a lot of freeze-dried ingredients from Thrive. I absolutely love them and I think it's important to have your pantry fully stocked. So in the case that you don't have time to cook something, chopping everything up and getting your meats cooked and everything, this is a super easy way to do it. So it's great for long-term storage as well as dinner convenience. Anyway, folks, I will put this recipe up on my blog for you. If you enjoyed the video, 
please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It really helps me out a lot, and I sure do appreciate your support. You can find me on Instagram at JennyGoff18. I'm also on Facebook, and you can visit my blog for all of my recipes at JennyGoff.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.